we are content creators. We make videos on YouTube about living with cystic fibrosis. Yeah, like, so, like, how do you make a living? I was gonna say good morning and show you the cuteness. Harry and I were having such a lovely snuggle, but I moved to reach the camera. That bothered him and he left. Sad day, welcome to our day. My morning has been happily filled with doing the dishes and then I cooked quite a few ch frozen chicken breasts in the Instant Pot. That has been such a great way to do it for me. I buy the frozen chicken breasts, put them straight in the Instant Pot, cook them for 14 minutes, and shred them. And I made a meal for another family from church, and there were two extra tortillas and a little bit of extra filling, so I'm doing the same thing I did last time. I put it like this and then bake it for Peter and I. It worked out really well last time, so I need to turn this on. And then I'm gonna, oh, and then I boiled my mist things. And so I am just like getting it done and having fun. This is the third time I think recently that I've made somebody a meal and I enjoy it so much. And my, my tactic is I make it on a day that I feel good and I put it in the freezer and then on the day that I need to bring it to them, I take it out of the freezer, I bake it, and I bring it hot and ready. So that's my plan again. I'm gonna cover these with tin foil and then freeze them and then they will be ready to go. You might see steam coming up. Yes, you can. I'm draining my miss things. I just realized, I just decided, instead of feeling disappointed when the fatigue hours hit for me, I am just going to basically schedule it in my brain. For a couple hours after I wake up, I can do things that I want, like do the dishes and that sort of thing. And then when the fatigue hours hit, it is just the built-in rest time for my body. That's what I'm gonna think of it as today. It, and if it never hits, I'll just get a lot done that day and that'll be fun too. This happened. I was straining them into this clean strainer so I can lay them out to dry on a clean towel. And then here's what happened. Some of them overflowed. No! Those have to be reboiled. Good morning, guys. Hi, Ollie boy. It is such a beautiful day. We have the windows open. Last week, it was too hot for the windows open. Oh, also the pollen. Oh, also the pollenocalypse. Uh, pollen How do you say it? Pollenocalypse? I guess. Anyways, it was a lot of pollen. Thankfully, it seems to be much better now. And we've got the windows open, sun's coming in, Mary's got a headache, not feeling great. So that's this not cool. Feels incredible. Yeah. We sat out on the deck, ate our uh, enchilada leftovers that Mary made us for lunch. Delicious. And then I edited the vlog. And I'm just, I love having that space outside to get work done. And yesterday at sam's club we got a new base for our umbrella because okay so here was the issue our old base was much shorter and it had one knob and the umbrella always kind of uh tilted and was unstable but this thing it's got this long base and it's 60 pounds and it's got these two knobs we're very pleased with it because now the umbrella is nice and sturdy and it has wheels because we like to move it around when we're not using it. I usually 
put it over here so it's out of the way. Anyways, pretty cool. Here is the remnants of the pollen. So I think it's the pine trees that give off these little pollen pods. And um, thankfully most of them like are all dried up and depleted. Sometimes Mary and I sit down. Well, we don't usually sit in these chairs. Where do we usually sit? For a business meeting? Yeah. <laughs> Um, Sometimes you'll come, come up to, to my office. office. She comes to my office. She sits in my little chair and we have a therapy session. A business meeting. A business meeting. <laughs> a business meeting, which often involves talking about... Me twirling a cat twirl. <laughs> <laughs> it involves Mary getting distracted. No, we both get distracted during business meetings. Okay, so uh, sometimes people ask, like, how do we make an income or, or sometimes it goes like this. What do you guys do? Oh, we are content creators. We make videos on YouTube about living with cystic fibrosis. Um, we share everything from medical stuff to just like making a cheeseburger. I don't know why, but I always say that. It's always like, sometimes we show being at the hospital, sometimes we're making a hamburger. And I don't know. That yeah, that's I don't know that's become why. that's become like a tagline <laughs> of Mary describing what we do. We make hamburgers and we go to the hospital. Oh man. Okay, so oh, anyway, man. and then people are like, Oh, and what do you do for a job? Yeah, they're like, Yeah, like so like how do you make a living? And we're like, Well, yeah, that that is what we do. Well that's a sliver of what we do, I guess. Yeah, so we were just like having this business meeting. We were kind of looking at the calendar ahead, planning some videos, um, planning some of, like even this morning, I was working on our store a little bit. And so when we talk about what we do, there's three things that are the main uh, avenues of our business. And one is we make these videos every day. We put them on YouTube, and one of the benefits of the platform of YouTube is that we can monetize these videos, which means when you watch our video each day and you see an ad that... Like if a little commercial comes before our video plays, one, we have no control over what those commercials are. Those ads, first of all, thank you for watching those because yeah. that adds to our ad revenue. Yes. And so, basically, as people watch our videos, we are able to earn some ad revenue from basically Google, who owns YouTube, and that's one avenue. Another avenue is, which is probably one of our biggest things that we do, is our online store. And Mary and I have loved making our online store not only just a place to put art and t-shirts and sweatshirts but also just connect with you guys and I feel like it's it's a huge way that we feel a personal connection to the people behind this camera lens yeah. is mm -hmm. our online store and the third avenue is we have sponsors people who sponsor our videos and so we were just talking through the coming month and we we're actually it, sponsors of videos on YouTube for us kind of come in waves and uh, what it means is it's a company or a brand that wants us to talk about their product and we get requests all the time and we try to stick to brands and companies that makes sense make sense not only for us or sometimes we say you know what that's not something we use but it's something that we think would be valuable for our listeners and our yeah. viewers uh, to hear about it might help them and so anyways we we're just planning out and then so in the we're really grateful in the coming uh, month we're gonna have um, about so, once a week about once a week a sponsor here on the fry life and which is just a, a huge blessing for us in that sometimes we'll go weeks or even a month or more without a brand deal like a sponsorship which is totally fine because i mean in, a, in the youtube world and in probably a lot of different spheres they talk about like diversifying your income and making sure that you're not putting all your eggs in one basket we're just thankful that even though sometimes we don't have any brand deals, 
then out of the blue, a few brands will reach out that either mean a lot to us or we're really glad to know about or this sort of thing. And so the next month, like Peter said, we're gonna introduce you to some new brands and we're excited about that. And, and we wanted to kind of explain it to you guys. Here's some of the back end of what it means to have a job on the internet. Yeah, and what it means when we're like, we're having a business meeting and yeah. some of the things we're talking about. So some of that back end is like talking with the brands. So we'll have meetings with the brands and I really enjoy doing those over video because then we can like build more of a relationship. Um, so having those meetings, going back and forth in the emails between like the dates for when it would work for us to put it in a video. Um, Peter does all the contracts. So we go through contracts for every brand and that sort of thing. It's been such an interesting journey learning all like of that. Like a huge learning curve. Step by even, step. Even like... Um, sometimes you've seen us, we've like worked with medical companies, which often has like a lot of red tape and like contracts are more extensive and that sort of thing. And, and so it's just like, it's, it's fun sometimes, <laughs> sometimes it's like just a lot of details that we got to work through. Um, but we're, um, we're really grateful for brands that kind of believe in what we're doing yeah. and, um, I think ultimately like want to uh, respect the content that we're creating is, yes. is, the, is a big thing. So three thank yous. One, thank you guys for watching these videos. This is how our community was built. Somebody started watching our videos when we were in Scotland mm -hmm. yeah. and Peter said, Mary, we got another subscriber today Crazy. and I'm like, what? And it wasn't somebody we knew and it was just crazy. So thank you for watching our videos. Um, second, thank you so much for wanting to shop on our online store. When I hear of friends who, um, I'm not sure if you know about this, when she finishes a nebulizer treatment, she saves the cap and she saves it in a plastic Ziploc, and when she fills it up, she gets a shopping spree on our store. Oh my goodness, that's like, so cool. This means so much, and yeah. when we sit down in our working room and we print off the labels, and I'm writing notes on these little packing slips, like, these things mean a lot. Um, you guys mean a lot to us, and we're thankful for that. And third, Thank you for your support when we have sponsored or brand deals. Um, it just means a lot that you guys take the time to like listen in, learn about something new. And when we hear back from you guys, oh, I started using this or that and it has helped so much, we're like, great. I am so glad that like we thought that might be helpful and yeah. yeah. It makes us thankful and glad. Yeah. So. Didn't thank, know you were coming to a business meeting today. I did know. You? Didn't know you're gonna get to go and watch Mary play with the cat toy. Look at this guy. What do you think? You have any input in the business meeting? This is Harry's newest favorite toy. A it's stick. A stick. <laughs> it's a plastic stick, and I like do it in the carpet like this, and he thinks it's amazing. Speaking of Harry, I think he was just checking out our puzzle on the table over there. Oh boy. <laughs> Did he fall asleep? Other cutie. Date night, date night, date night, date night. I have a little story for you. This is generic. Coffee and chocolate chip flavored ice cream, which I'm never I'm never mad about coffee flavored ice cream But Story time how many years ago? Almost it was, it was nine, and a half. nine and a half years ago. So almost ten years ago. We lived with an elderly man I know we've told you guys this story plenty of times, but basically it was a, a scenario. I was in seminary grad school I was working on the weekends, we didn't have a lot of money, and we found this opportunity to uh, take care of 
the property of this elderly gentleman and we made him dinner each night and just helped with some of his day-to-day -day needs and we did that in exchange for housing we lived in the bottom half of his house so we had a bedroom and a living room but we did not have a kitchen we just used his kitchen upstairs yeah so and we we ate dinner with him every night anyways he loved this java chip ice cream i think it's haagen or what was, was it? it was haagen java chip yes. ice cream and he he um he would describe it to us and he'd be like yeah it's this coffee flavored ice cream with these elegant chocolate chips yeah it's called java chip he he had this thick accent and he like a new england accent yeah new england accent and he, but he always described the chocolate chips as elegant and that struck mary and i as so funny so whenever we eat this ice cream we say it's got some elegant chocolate chips we're so, we we were just talking about it yesterday. We we're so thankful for that experience we had. It was hard in many ways, but it was a really great life experience. Lots of learning. And as always, we'll see you tomorrow. We're gonna do our puzzle and watch American Idol on the computer. Woo -woo. Ah! Good night, guys. Good night to the cat, and good night to the doggy boy. <laughs>